Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl KD, and today I am dressed like a turkey. I don't really know why, but I am. Today I have a very special video for you. Now, I don't know if you remember in a previous video, I told you that I, I didn't really live in the Middle East, but I was in the Middle East for quite some time. I was there for about a little under three months. Um, and it was really cool. I actually really enjoyed it. The food was amazing. I think it was just, it was just the fact that it was just so different. Like it was literally like a place that I had never, like I had never seen before. And I've been all over the world. But um, anyways, so I was in Bahrain. I was actually in a city called Manama, which is the capital of Bahrain. Um, and you know, I was able to see a lot of the sites and uh, do some shopping, a lot of cool stuff. There is a lot of stuff to do in Bahrain. And I actually have a lot more videos on that. So I look forward to bringing those to you. But today's video is about a little trip I took to a fort called um, Kalalalal. Right, so there's a fort and it's like 5,000 years old and I went to it and it's in Bahrain. But so listen, check this video out. Okay, well, uh, we are here to see this grand pile of dirt better known as a castle I'm just kidding it's not really a pile of dirt but uh it was a an adventure to get here I just have to tell you that so we're here to see a castle in Dubai I mean oh shit Bahrain Bahrain I don't know where I'm at anymore coffee <laughs> So, I guess this isn't just a visit the, visit the castle kind of place. This is also like an exercise trail. And uh, people come here to, oh, oh look, horses. Boy, I tell you what, you never know what you're going to see here in Bahrain. I mean, this is like, I just seen two stallions come flying by me. There ain't, there's not even, there, is, there ain't no horse trail. There's nowhere for horses. There's no sign that says, it's some horses, be careful. <laughs> I didn't see no hoofs, no hoof signs. Ooh, we're walking into the castle. It's about to get serious. Okay, we've just entered the castle. So I recommend getting here right before closing and there's not that many people and you're able to do stuff like this with not a lot of people in the back of your videos. This is awesome. I don't know what happened here, but let's read some of the signs. This place is amazing. I know you guys hear me say that all the time, but it really is amazing. And I can't wait to see what's on the other side of this wall. I think it's the ocean. It looks like there was like something, some, some serious battle that went on here. It's kind of like when you watch the Discovery Channel and you see that they keep digging and digging and digging and they keep finding like different sections of a building that once was. Look, that's, we learned about this stuff at the museum. Mm. How they used to make houses out of palm trees, palm leaves. 
Palm, yeah, date from date palms. So much history in Bahrain. And they did a good job keeping the history. And there's always plenty of people here visiting the, the tourist attractions with all the historical facts. So all the kids and the new generations are fully aware of what's going on. Okay, we're almost to the top. So what we learned at the museum the other day is that a lot of the houses back in the day for walls, they used palm tree leaves and all of the materials were mainly used from uh, date palm trees, you know, like date, like the fruit. Is it a fruit? Anyways, this is cool because this place is old as I don't know what thousands of visitors have come through here and this is still standing I mean there's like a few pieces on the ground but and I'm just trying to figure out like was this a whole house but look at that these are fake those are like from a real palm trees are amazing i've always been fascinated with palm trees any kind of palm tree because first of all it doesn't rain here in bahrain in the middle east they do they hardly get any rain and there are palm trees everywhere and i'm like how do you water a palm tree and then they have those palm trees that can withstand hurricane winds and not fall down they bend but they don't fall down they have electricity long time ago, look. Yeah. It's kind of like that stripper at the club who just who just won't go down, you know? It's like 30 dances later, she's got a rash in between her legs from the pole. She just won't go down. She's made all the money she can make. She's like a palm tree. If I, if I was a stripper, my name would probably be something like palm tree in France, in French. Les Palme, coming to the stage, coming to the stage, $20 off a dance, two dances for $20, coming to the stage, La Palma, get up here La Palma. <laughs> yeah, they was up here doing something nasty, where they come from dressed like that? That's the little door I was talking about. What? They just came from out of here. Let's go see. Oh, they can ready to get married in a castle. He's getting ready to perform a marriage. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. You know me, I'm nosy. I want to know where they came from because they just came out of nowhere. Don't nobody try to jump out and scare me. I'm serious. This was somebody's house that I'm in right now. It's like it's funny because you walk into these places and it's like, okay, so here was the front door. This had to be the front door. Okay, so let's pretend... Oh yeah, girl, come into my house. Yeah, it's kind of dirty. I haven't cleaned. Oh, you like my waterfall? Yes. Lawrence just cleaned it. Uh, what's this, girl? I don't know, girl, but you know what happened was our insurance didn't cover that last flood. So, Come to the dining room, girl. Let's sit in the dining room. Bitch, your dining room ain't got no windows. No, we ain't got no windows. What we trying to see when we dining? Girl, you asked too many questions. Come upstairs. One, two. We upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that was fun. We're out of the castle. We're moving on. Let's find something else to do.
Was that not the coolest ever? Like, it's not every day you get to go into a, go into a building that's 5,000 years old. And I don't know what this obsession I have with calling it a castle. It's like every time I see an old structure made of stone or rocks, I just, I don't know. There's just like something in me that just always assumes it's a castle. I've got to get out more. No, but seriously, I, I thought this was so cool. Um, I, I learned a lot on that trip. I didn't even, I don't know where the footage is where I was like, reviewing all the signs with all the information and details like I, I have that footage but I don't know where it's at but um yeah like and you know it, it, it's cool because you really just feel like you just went somewhere right seeing like the the stones and the structures and like the houses made out of trees that was really cool um and you know I, I'm just so you know I'm not trying to further my stripping career it was just a thought. But yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Peace Ha! Ha! Wait, what sound, how what sound does a turkey make? Gobble, gobble. No, that's not it. Anyways, bye!